system online. Virtual simulation initiated. Great! You're here! My name is Echo. Welcome to the Sassel Secunda Synfuels Operations 360 experience. Take a moment to look around. There's a lot to take in. Initiating Central System Control Room. This is the System Control Room, the very center of today's virtual tour. From here, I'll be showing you around the Sassel Secunda plant, where we turn coal into fuel and other products. Sassel is a world leader in energy production and fuel technology. Thanks to an innovative staff of over 30,000 people working in 33 countries. Sassel was the first company in the world to make transportation fuels from raw coal. Isn't that amazing? Today, we'll be looking at four stages in transforming coal into the fuels that run taxis, cars, planes, even spaceships. Ready to see how it all works? Tex, initiate the tour. Now entering gasification. Here we are at the first stage. Coal is mined at several Sassel mines around the plant and transported here on this conveyor belt. What you see behind me are the gasifiers. High pressure steam and oxygen at extremely hot temperatures turn the coal into synthetic or non-natural gas and several other products. This complex chemical reaction is monitored from inside that control room by process artisans. The newly created synthetic gas is then pumped through big pipes to the next stage. Tex, take us to stage two. Now entering Rectosol. From the gasifiers, the highly pressurized synthetic gas is sent here to the Rectosol purification unit. This is where the gas is cleaned of impurities to ensure our fuels are eco-friendly. This factory couldn't function without its passionate employees. Throughout the plant, teams of technicians and artisans have the important responsibility to keep all these processes operating at optimal capacity. Still with me? Because the next stage is the most important part. Now entering Sassel. Look at it. The Sassel Advanced Synthol Reactors. This is one of ten on the plant. And we just have to take a look at what's happening inside. What you're seeing here is happening inside the reactors on a microscopic level. This is where the magic happens. The clean synthetic gas, made up of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, enter the reactor and is forced to bubble through an iron-based catalyst. Thanks to a perfect mix of pressure and temperature, a chemical reaction rearranges the molecules into usable synthetic products. Isn't science amazing? From coal to synthetic gas, and now synthetic oil. By the way, have you noticed the massive cooling towers to your right? They are used to recycle water to be used again in the plant. <laughs> and don't worry, what you're seeing coming out of the top is not smoke. It's just water vapor. Tex, take us to the final stage. Now entering refinery. The refinery converts the raw synthetic oil into usable fuels. Precise maths and science is needed to make sure that each stage is working just as it was designed. There, you can see one of our super smart engineers. She is one of many engineers responsible for monitoring and improving all these reactions. And now, drum roll please. These are our final products. Our very own synthetic fuels. Paraffin, jet fuel, diesel and petrol. Stored here on the tank farm. However you get home today, chances are fuel from this plant is getting you there. Doesn't that blow your mind? Re-entering 
Central System Control Room. I just love the work we're doing here. We're pushing the boundaries of innovation with some of the world's leading experts in so many fields, right here at Sassel Secunda. And fuel is not the only awesome product we make here. We use the elements from each reaction and create many byproducts used in the making of everyday items, such as babies' nappies and plastics, to paints and tar for roads. Who would have thought? I only had time to show you a small part of all the awesome processes taking place at Sassel Sinfuels. Our plant stretches over 13 kilometers squared. This is the same as almost 1,600 soccer fields put together. You can just imagine all the complex systems working every minute of every day. We even recycle our water and produce electricity. It's all part of being environmentally responsible. And look at those amazingly high towers. That one there is the highest freestanding structure in the Southern Hemisphere. It's 301 meters high. I could talk all day, but our time is up. If you liked what you saw here, remember to continue with maths and science at school. And maybe one day, you could be part of our Sassel team too. To a complete. Uh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye oh. then. Hamburgashle, Tamaya Handle, Tutsin. Tour complete. Please remove headphones, followed by the headset.